Fune wo Amu, or The Great Passage, comes from Zek Studio, who've done works for diabolic lovers of all things. Oh hey, Chubra! My favorite, not really. Then there's also Say I Love You, but I haven't gone around to that anime yet, I've only read the manga. It is based on the novel The Great Passage by Shion Mura and had a movie adapted from it way before the anime. It's about dictionaries. Riveting, isn't it? The story follows a man named Mitsuya Majime who works in the sales department of Genbu Shobo. Long story short, he sucks at his work because he has poor social skills. However, he soon gets recruited by Kohei Araki from the dictionary department because Mitsuya has a love for words. In his new department, he meets up with a man named Masashi Nishioka who is the opposite of him. One day, he meets a new attendant in the rooming house and he is struck by her beauty. Upon discovering this, his chief editor advises him to write the definition for love. First of all, this is a very refreshing anime. It's based in the modern world where it follows adults in their daily lives. And if that isn't enough, the main topic is about dictionaries. Something the younger audiences wouldn't even want to talk about because it's so boring. Actually, I can't say that for the Japanese audiences, but for Americans, most definitely. One thing this anime lack, in my opinion, is context. There are a lot of things left unsaid. Now, sometimes, things should be left up to interpretation, like the 10-year gap. However, there are things that should have been shown. Obviously, I'm talking about Mitsuya and Kaguya's relationship. Seriously, we've been building this up for, what, 7 episodes? Suddenly, the 10-year gap and now they're married. Then the focus immediately switches away from the romance in the dictionary to just being about the dictionary. Honestly, if the romance wasn't the focus in the first place, would you really be watching this? I mean, I would, but for everybody. Buddy, would you really? This is actually a pretty good play they did on the audience. They pull people in with the expectation of romance, so then by the end of this, people are already invested that the anime can continue to implement its idea of a dictionary into people's head even without the romance. And again, in all honesty, now that you know about the passion for dictionaries and how they are the bridge between two worlds, are you gonna go buy a dictionary? Maybe the translation dictionary, sure, but an actual dictionary? What do you think we have Urban Dictionary for? I hope people are using Urban Dictionary for modern slangs and not as a source for definitions. Even with my rambling, I love that they show this kind of passion, the amount of work being put into dictionaries in this modern age where you could simply search up words on the internet. And one could say that this anime is about connecting to people through words, like how Mitsuya did with Kaguya. Going away from that bumbling mass, the anime is relaxing. It goes through activities that can be considered mundane for some and makes it interesting. It really connects with the audience. The interaction with Mitsuya and Kaguya are refreshing and who doesn't love the grandma wingman? I love Masashi's character as he goes from a guy who doesn't like being in the dictionary department to a guy who wished he was in the dictionary department. Then his little talks with his girlfriend Remy, who by the way disappeared after the 10 year gap and then reappeared for a couple minutes in the last episode. I know I said I was going away from that bum mess, but that bumbling mess is the main thing that grinds my gear. Everything before it was fine. I didn't have any noticeable problems with it, but here are three things that the 10 year gap did a good job. It shows the lengthiness of creating a dictionary. It began at a great time after Masashi's last day at the dictionary department, and it was a display of the passage of time and how time waits for no one. Even after my complaints, I would recommend this anime. Again, I can be easily entertained, and if I like 90% of the anime, I'd recommend it. This is a pretty easygoing anime. Nothing bad happens in it, there's little to no drama. I said this before, it's relaxing. Don't anticipate anything other than that, and you will enjoy it.